guys, Dylan Schumacher, Civil Defense. Uh, I wanted to do a 2019 EDC update video here. Uh, I had someone come into my classes the other day and they're like, hey, do you, do you still carry that, that sidecar? Do you still like it? Whatever. And I said, yeah. And I thought, oh, it, you know, probably good to just kind of do a general update video here. So I'm actually in my pajamas right now, so I'm not actually wearing this stuff because it's late at night and I'm going to go to bed after this. So uh, I'm just going to pull it up here and we'll, we'll kind of talk about it. Uh, I am still carrying... I'm still carrying the Glock 19 uh, in the sidecar holster. A couple things about this. One, these clips have gotten a little loose on me. Not sure if you can see that there. Um, and I'm not as much of a fan of it. This one's not so bad. This one has pretty good retention. But this one, this one's a little loose. Um, hear that click? Right? That's because the loop part is, is, is separated from the back a little bit. So I'm not as big a fan of that. Um, I had a freak accident where I went to throw my son up in the air and I kind of knocked my rig off um, and it kind of came out, out of my pants. I was doing a family photo shoot or whatever and I just went to throw my son up in the air and his foot just perfectly caught the clip, pulled the whole rig out and it was a freak accident. I'm not super worried about it, but I might look into something to, to replace these clips with this year um, to, to try to minimize that, right? That's obviously not good. Uh, just carry a G17 mag here, uh, and this is just uh, my G19. Now, one thing I will say, is I am still carrying, I am still carrying the big dots. I'm not sure if you can see that, there you go. Now, I like the big dots. That being said, uh, I'm probably gonna switch those out this year. Uh, 15 yards and in, big dots are king. Like, hands down. No, no doubt about it. I think, I think big dots are a great site. I got nothing against them. It's just that my priorities have shifted. And I've started to really desire uh, precision at distance with my pistols now. And uh, because of that, I think it's time to, to get rid of, of the big dots and to swap out this sight system. So I, uh, when I do that, I'll do a video on that and talk about a little bit more about why. But I, th I think those are going to go this year. Uh, that said, this is just a Gen 4 G19 uh, Enforce APL light. This is one of the old ones. This is a G2, uh, not the G3s. I tried a G3 for a couple of days, didn't like it, returned it. Um, the, the delay, it had a delay on the start switch here that I didn't like at all. And uh, this has got a little bit of give. As you can see, no lights comes on, and there it comes on. Uh, I'm not sure if you can tell that. But uh, the, the G3 had a much, much more give here, and I just, I did not like it. So big fan of the, the G2. It's only like 200 lumens. I mean, it's not overpowering light or anything like that, but just something to give me a little bit of help. The second tool that I carry with me every day is, uh, this is a Streamlight. This is a ProTac uh, 2. Oh, let's see if get that in focus. Come on. There, I think we got that. Uh, ProTac 2LX, uh, so this is two CR12A, 123 batteries, whatever those are called, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, 500 lumens. Uh, downside, this thing does click on, but I can just temp push it. <clears throat> now the nice thing I like about that is because it's got this guard around the base of the uh, flashlight, <clears throat> it's really easy to kind of stage your thumb so you can't push click it like right here I'm pushing as hard as I can I'm not clicking it oh there it is uh, but in general you know it, it, it's easy to work around um, unless I just really mash it but if I stage my thumb right off, off that rim uh, it's really hard to, to click it on so I can operate it like a tactical light uh, which I really like you know if you, a good tack light should just be push for on release for off there should be no clicking uh, I wish Streamlight would just start making lights that don't have a click cap That'd be, that'd be a great thing. Uh, but it's got a clip, so it's real EDC-able, you know, and this just usually rides in my front left pocket. Another thing that rides in my front left pocket is uh, my Black Hawk Be Warned Blade. Uh, big fan of this blade, mostly just because it's a folder, um, so it folds up real nice. You know, this is kind of my last ditch go-to defensive knife, right? Um, it's got a clip, which I've been meaning to reverse that so it rides a little bit better so that I can pull it out left-handed and flip it open because um, it rides on my left side, uh, not on my right. And uh, so I need to do that. But, but other than that, this is just rode with me as my defensive knife. My last tool that I carry uh, just for EDC tasks is my Leatherman Wingman. Uh, big fan of this. If you don't have a Leatherman, you're not a man. I don't know what to tell you, uh, but you really should. You really should have some kind of multi-tool. The thing I like about this one is that the knife is deployable because it's right on the outside. Um, so I can just pull it out of my pocket, 
open my knife and go, which is the tool I use most often on this. Uh, it does have other stuff like a pliers, you know, a couple screwdrivers, um, can of bottle opener no it does not have a bottle opener which I actually I'm like what what the hell Leatherman uh, come on a bottle opener uh, that 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 feels like it should be something that should be on here you got this weird ruler thing I don't know what this is it's like a, it's got a file on one side and kind of a little ruler on the other I don't need that give me a bottle opener come on ditch that give me a bottle that that seems pretty uh, obvious uh, the other thing I like about it is that, uh, so the knife on one side, and then on the other side, also on the outside, is the scissors. So those are deployable. Uh, it's very urban EDC. This one does not have a saw, and I chose that intentionally, because uh, I don't really need a saw. I, I mostly live in an urban environment, and a knife and a scissors are things I'm going to need the most often. And then, of course, uh, the pliers, right? That, that's really why I carry Leatherman, is to be able to have the pliers aspect versus just a pocket knife. Um, I found that to be helpful, and I've, I've used that a lot. So... That's my that's my last tool, and those are it. Those are the, the main four tools I carry, just kind of on my person. Do brave deeds and endure.